Welcome to Dr. Amazon Podcast, the emergency support channel for FBA private label sellers. We invite top Amazon experts to share the most efficient tips and tricks for your businesses. We are trying to deliver only accurate, credible, and relevant information. My name is Vitaly Fizhniak and I am the CGO of Profit Wales. And let's get started. We're going to be talking about how to dominate on Amazon, how to find the right strategy and then how successfully exit your business on Amazon. Today I am joined by Kellen Fedio, who helps brands create a highly available and saleable businesses. So welcome Kellen, nice to meet you. Thank you so much Vitaly, it's such a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here and I'm sure you will share with us and our audience how to grow your businesses yeah, on Amazon, how to do it correctly and of course how to, like, to sell all the things, yeah, how to do it correctly. And uh, as, as typically, yeah, let's start from the beginning and could you please tell us more about yourself, about your story, how you just find this way into the e-commerce because I know Previously, you have a lawyer, like a attorney experience. Yes, that's correct. And so I'm a recovering attorney, <laughs> meaning that I still am an attorney, but I don't practice law anymore, at least not actively. Um, and my journey in e-commerce began in 2014 um, when I discovered that I wanted to really build a business from anywhere in the world, from my laptop, and at that time, from my kitchen table. <laughs> now a, a, a nicer home office. I've upgraded since then. And it was about that time that creating a brand and selling on the Amazon platform was becoming a really popular business model. And there were a lot of training courses about it. So I took one of those popular training courses and just hit the ground running and started my brand in August of 2014 and hit seven figures very quickly and scaled it from there. Perfect. That is a great story. And I know that now you use your experience that you just got uh, as a chance to reach a seven, eight figure, uh, seven, yeah, seven figure uh, to other Amazon sellers. So how do you help Amazon sellers? In what way exactly? Well, there are lots of different ways. My partner, Paul Miller, and I started a podcast. And so obviously it's a podcast, so it's all free content and it's all centered around how Amazon entrepreneurs can grow, scale, and exit their businesses for their what's probably going to be their biggest payday. So we work with um, both on a consulting basis. We also make a lot of referrals to different types of service providers. So anything you would need to scale and exit a business, whether that's accounting, whether that's a bookkeeper, whether it's an attorney, maybe it's a tax advisor, maybe it's a PPC agency, a brand management agency. So we have over the last, you know, of combined 10 plus years experience, we've amassed, you know, a really good vetted Rolodex of trusted service providers that we can refer our clients to for any of their needs that they need to optimize their business and, and you know, hopefully sell it for their biggest payday. Got it. So uh, if I just understand it correctly, you help them to find this, a, like uh, to build this journey into what they have now, what they should improve, uh, what step they just need to, to be done, and then uh, how, how to sell your business correctly. Exactly. We help them build a roadmap. We help them with strategy. We help them with exit planning. And then ultimately, we help guide them through the process all the way through the close of the transaction. Got it. Because, you know, we have the, the same situation like here inside the profit wells, but not in the case of like consulting, stuff like that. We just help Amazon businesses to scale and grow their businesses with the help of the PPC. Yeah, exactly. And how, how to do it. We just uh, understand that it's one of the parts of the Amazon business that we could take and then help you to grow. But we have a lot of questions in the case of the uh, your cash flow, for example, your inventory, how to build it. Yeah, because a lot of them do not expect to to get a, or increase number of sales like from like uh, 100 up to 1000 per day and for some of them it could be a big big problem I, as I understand you also help them just to make a some forecast the understanding how it should be what to expect is it correct yes 
And I just want to mention, you know, Amazon advertising is the cornerstone of success on Amazon, in my opinion. It's definitely, um, Amazon has evolved into a pay-to-play platform. I think all Amazon sellers know this now. And without a um, really, really good PPC strategy, I don't believe it's possible to be successful, at least long-term. So, you know, agencies like yours that help take that off of Amazon sellers plates because becoming an expert in PPC and staying on top of all of the latest and greatest ad features and types, it's, that's a full-time job. And then you're not going to have any time to, you know, launch new products and have, um, and grow and scale your business. So it's definitely, we tell our clients all the time that unless you're an expert yourself and that's like your secret sauce, you definitely want to have an agency, um, you know, managing PPC for you. Um, so that's great. But there are so many things that go into having a profitable business. And one of those is making sure that you're having enough organic sales compared to your paid sales. And so that's where a good PPC strategy comes in, making sure that your true A cost or your total A cost, meaning the, um, it's basically you divide, and you guys know this, you divide the amount of ad spend by your total sales. Mm -hmm. And generally keeping that, you know, we like to tell our clients below 15% is a really good benchmark Mm -hmm. for having a profitable business. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I would say the other really important factor that kind of plays into PPC management is inventory management. And I think that there is not enough out there about inventory management and how that can make or break your business. Uh, We do have a good friend. Her name is Chelsea Cohen, and she has a um, great um, website called So Stocked, Mm -hmm. and they help with inventory management. And it's like death by a thousand paper cuts. If you, if you, you know, are not streamlining your supply chain, if you're not getting the absolute best price for high quality products, Mm -hmm. um, if you're having tons of stock outs all the time, if you, you know, that can do so much damage to your business and to your bottom line. Exactly. I absolutely agree with you because we have something the same, you know, in the case of just understanding how the uh, what impact Amazon just could, uh, the, the PPC could uh, provide you on inside the Amazon, yeah? Because right now it's so important to understand that with the help of the PPC, you will have a chance to boost your organic results too. Then you will have a chance to control everything that you have inside the niche, like your competitors to reach their positions if you would like to get a bestseller, for example. And uh, we know that getting a bestseller is like much more profitable just just for fighting, like on, the, for, on this way, yeah? For getting these positions. Uh, great, but uh, let's let's make some uh, uh, steps uh, in the case of your story. How you just started? How you understand that the consultation, yeah, just consulting could could be a way that you could help Amazon sellers. Yes. So, are are you asking me how how we begin like a relationship yeah. helping Amazon sellers? So, generally, somebody will listen to one of our podcast episodes, and then we have a free assessment that you can come take on our website. It's called the Freedom Score. And we really put a lot of thought and strategy into that assessment. And it's completely free. You can go there and just answer some simple questions and get a score, which is basically going to tell you, you know, how ready you are to sell your business and whether your business is indeed sellable. Because a lot of businesses that people are building, believe it or not, are not actually sellable. They actually have to do some things to make it sellable. So, um, along with that, that uh, call or that assessment, I should say, we also offer a free complimentary 20-minute call to go over your Freedom Score results. Mm-hmm. And then from there, it really just, we customize our consulting agreements to whatever is going to best fit the client. Uh, we have partnered with uh, somebody who's created a fabulous course on exit planning. It's not specific to Amazon. It's industry agnostic, but it's a great course called the Intentional Growth Course. So we partnered with our good friend, Ryan Tansom, and we offer that on our website. And we we really urge customers to take that course because it provides a really solid foundation for everything you need to know how to exit a business and, and get maximum value. But then beyond that, we do one-on-one consulting, we do strategic implementation, and then we also are really able to look at the business holistically and mm-hmm. help sellers figure out, okay, what areas do you need to focus on? Is it PPC? Is it brand management? Is it inventory management? Is it you know professionalization of your brand? You know, you can't have good PPC metrics if your listings are not up to par, right? And you don't yeah. have premium content. So we really are able to narrow in and, and figure out like what these business owners need to do to make their business sellable. 
Whether or not they ever decide to sell, you always want to know what your business is worth in real time. You want to know what that asset is worth because it's probably one of your biggest assets, if not your biggest asset. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fair enough. And uh, wh- what what is the most common mistakes or not like mistakes, a base, how to improve your Amazon businesses that you have got after the audit that you have done? There, There is a lot. So first and foremost, there are still sellers that are so focused on top line growth and top line revenue. And top line growth and revenue, sure, it's important, especially in your first couple of years of business to be able to demonstrate that you've got, you know, a winning brand on your hands or winning products. But beyond that, your business is not sellable if you do not have a good, healthy bottom line profit margin. Mm -hmm. So definitely want to shoot for hopefully a 20% net profit or above. And also in order to know that you have to have good financials and record keeping and bookkeeping. And you'd be surprised at how many seven and even eight figure sellers do not have good bookkeeping practices. They're not doing bookkeeping at all, or they're just doing it on a spreadsheet. They don't have a bookkeeper. They're not doing it um, on the accrual method of accounting, Mm -hmm. which is very important to be able to value all of the different things that are going on in your business and having insight into the numbers, having forecasts, having budgets, Um, having a business plan, all those things are lacking for a lot of sellers because they're just doing a gajillion things at once. And that is something that is very, very important. Yeah, absolutely. I understand that because uh, we have we have seen a lot of uh, time the situation when we start working with a client and then we understand that we will cover the BPC, but could you provide us with the exact numbers? Yeah, like a uh, cox, a net margin, something like that for understanding what should what will be profitable for us. And it's like a big question for most of them, like, uh, I should just do some calculations about it. <laughs> Uh, Yes, they don't. It's knowing your numbers. And so I would say the biggest mistake is not knowing your numbers. Exactly. And I really, I really love the situation when uh, you just start the audit and uh, check in the client situation and uh, understand what is the main goal that they would like to reach, like uh, uh, to sell their business or just to grow their or scale their business. And we, as the accelerator, we just focusing on general metrics that they have inside the PPC and business reports. And then we just come back to them and say, Hey guys, I, uh, we think that you do not get a clear statistic. Yeah. Cause it's like not so good. The access is not true. It's like much higher. And uh, let's double check in there. What? And why? No, <laughs> everything is okay. <laughs> and when you do the analysis and provide them with the numbers, you see that, yeah, they do not calculate it in the right way. And uh, it's like one of the most, uh, important things that we have just seen. Uh, we got a podcast with a Ken Kubik from Trusto uh, and uh, with a Chris from uh, Chris Bell from The Purge. And they also provide us with these main recommendations Yeah, in the case of what should they uh, focus in on in the case of the financial side. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the sexy topic, right? The sexy topics for Amazon sellers are launching, ranking, product yeah. picking, you know, things like getting, that. Getting it's not knowing to... your numbers and planning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all about fighting, you know. Or it's all about getting higher positions, increasing number of sales, but not this, uh, yeah, topic uh, in the case of the numbers. So, got it. Uh, okay, uh, if we will speak in the case of the uh right now situation that we have uh, on the market it's like q4 and a lot of uh, sellers they got a good sales yeah and a good rate w- what will be your recommendations yeah on the 2021st uh what you will ask them to be focusing on well going back to what i said earlier profitability i would urge any seller whether you're just getting started or you've been selling for five years or more to make sure that you have a really solid bottom line and by knowing what that bottom line number is it's relatively easy to at least get a feel for what your business would be worth in the market so Right now, the market has never been better for sellers. There is a huge demand for Amazon-based businesses. There are a ton of what are called aggregators in the space. They're, they're, these are uh, Amazon business acquirers, and there are quite a few of them. I actually personally do some consulting for one of the aggregators, and so I have some unique insight into what they are looking for in purchasing Amazon businesses. But there's a huge demand and really sellers have at their disposal now 
um, a lot of different options, which obviously over time is going to drive up prices and multiples. So it, there's never been a better time to be an Amazon seller and to be considering selling your business for what could be your biggest payday. The selling the business uh, inside the Amazon, it became a trend like a few years ago. Is it correct? Correct. I mean, just a few years ago, there wasn't a market for Amazon only businesses. And even when there started to become a market for, for them, you know, it was, it was really felt that in order to be a true business, you had to have off Amazon channels or otherwise it was just too risky. But now there are Amazon acquirers that are specifically looking for Amazon based businesses that are doing a majority of the revenue on the Amazon channel because they have the power and the knowledge and the strategies to be able to grow that off of Amazon where mm -hmm. a lot of sellers don't have those skills. Absolutely, because we also do the analysis about that. And a lot of clients right now, they do not like ask us uh, for growing or scaling their business. Their final goal is just to sell the business with the help of boosting all the results from like the PPC side. Yes, and, and as a PPC agency, you definitely are you know, really critically involved in making sure that you know, those organic to paid sales are a good ratio and making sure that their paid sales are as profitable as possible, you know, and um, it's, a, it's a big part of it for sure. Yeah, we understand that uh, we are not a typical uh, PPC agency yeah, or a software because we have a both sides like the PPC agency and software and just we combine all the things and use it as a, the Iron Man with a uh, Robert Down, uh, Robo Juni. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, it's one of the most important things because uh, we work exactly as the accelerator, accelerator for your business inside the Amazon. If you would like and you feel that uh, you want to get more, uh, we will probably with a plan and strategy how to do it correctly, yeah? How to not like cr uh, crash your cash flow, how to fill your inventory, what is the results we could achieve and something like that. We understand that it's something that market needs for now. And a lot of sellers, they just looking for a support, yeah, in this way. That's awesome. Yeah, perfect. Uh, thank you so much, Kellyanne, uh, for all these explanations. And uh, I would be glad to know what is the best way to reach you, uh, email or social media? What is the best way to contact you? Sure. You can reach me by email at kelly at amazingexits.com. And you could also reach me on LinkedIn. I'm under my full name, which is Kellyanne, K-E-L-L-I-A-N-N-E, Fedio, F-E-D-I-O, or on Facebook. And I look forward to connecting with some of your listeners, hopefully. Of course. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for sharing with us all these insights and uh, for all this uh, helpful info. Uh, we will provide you with all needed updates and uh, looking forward to see you in 2021st. Yes, me too. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you. And that is all for today's Dr. Amazon episode. Don't miss our future arrivals with a new hot topics. Press the like, leave us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. We will come back to you shortly.